Hey friends, I've been doing some pretty heavy reading. Uh, Charlie Brown and the Peanuts Treasury. And one of the things I read that he uh, said in one of the strips was that he had developed a new philosophy to only dread one day at a time. And when I read that, I thought, oh man, how applicable is that? And how many people can relate to that in this time we're in? Of churches trying to figure out, do we gather? Do we not gather? Do we stay online? Uh, businesses, do we stay open? Do we close? Do we make some changes? Restaurants, how many people can come in? Do you, uh, is it takeout only? And the state rolling out different phases for different counties, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase 1.5, phase seven, all the different stuff. And I just thought, boy, how many people could relate? Uh, and then the masks and all that. And how many people can relate to Charlie Brown learning and that feeling of learning to dread just one day at a time? And I just want to echo my sentiment from last week. I am still thoroughly convinced you and I are the right people for the right time in the right places for a time such as this. We must take confidence in that, that God has put us here for a time such as this and not give in to this dread. And, you know, this weekend is a weekend to celebrate freedom for our country, and that is fantastic. And, you know, whatever way you choose to do that, but it only amplifies some of the angst and uh, feelings some people have regarding uh, the pandemic and the regulations and things. And I just don't want it to distract. I want it to encourage you not to let it distract you from keeping the main things the main things. And this weekend of celebrating freedom, keep the freedom that you have in Christ in mind. The freedom that we have from knowing that we have a Savior. And so I would just encourage you to focus on that. Keep the main thing the main thing. And just realize you are where you are supposed to be. And we just need to figure out our right, next right step. Not figure out the whole story. Just the next right step. And find freedom from that dread of the next day. So we love you. We pray for you. We'd love to pray with you. Just fill out a connection card below. Let us know how we can do that. And if you haven't, like, subscribe, all that stuff below too. Happy Independence Weekend, and we love you, friends.